Guys, Octavius 2.9 version is released officially for some of the devices, but we have uninstalled build available, unofficial build available for Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, and Poco M2 Pro. Let's find out some things. Okay, talking about this build, of course, it's Octavius V 2.9 and it's based on Android version 11. This is the latest unofficial build. It's not official build. Official build has some different things, but yes, this is unofficial build. Don't worry. If you don't want to install, you can just simply ignore this. But if you want to install, you can because it's super smooth. I'm using for some time and honestly, it's actually quite smooth. It's more than actually what I was expecting. It's more than that smooth. So that's actually quite good enough in the terms of default launcher. It comes with a simple advanced launcher, which is basically Octavius own launcher, but it has some extra features for you. For example, if you move on to this app drawer option, hidden apps option is present for you. And if you go to the miscellaneous option, now we have a new option called show free RAM in recents. That's something really interesting, which was expected. You can see there is a free RAM already available for you. Right now it's showing a 784 MB if i clear it then you will see the ram will be changed the ram the ram equation will be changed here the memory it's something different here and i don't think so this was available in any of the previous builds in octavio so yes that's something really good in the terms of l1 certification unfortunately there is still no l1 for me because i have an installed firmware i'll definitely try to install firmware in the next update but right now if you want to install you can and you might get l1 certificate but right now there is no l1 certificate for you if you install this by default and as expected there is no cpu thermal throttling and that's actually quite good the highest performance what we get is 153784 that's very very good score by the way and yes if i i am telling you that if you install this you will definitely love this the speed of this room is just fabulous also it has the default clock app is also themed from AOSP this is AOSP clock app which is themed something really good enough here in the settings UI what I saw here as you can see there is a text written there other kind of settings icons are on the right side instead of the left side you can customize them by the way and these are the icons which I have enabled the MIUI option and you can change these settings in Octavio settings there is option available for you. One of the best things I liked about this build is the battery backup. That's actually quite good enough. It was at actually 60, approximately 52% and overnight it was still say at 52%. There is not even a single percent of battery drain overnight. That is actually quite impressive. And you can see 2 hours and 37 minutes of screen on time from 60%, 60, yes, approximately 60. So yes, 18 to 19% for approximately 2 and half hours of screen on time. It's quite impressive without getting by the way but still it's good enough in the terms of other options you get the new interesting font engine for you this is one of my favorite font engine out there in any customer because whenever you use any kind of custom room you need these kind of things i don't want to install these fonts as a magisk module and if these are present here systemlessly you can apply them that's actually quite good enough by the way you don't need to reboot your device to apply these fonts if you click this as you can see the fonts have been applied successfully right now i'm using the san francisco pro which is basically iphone fonts and if you have ever used iphone you got to know these fonts here app locker is also present here in octavius lab where you get all these customizations or features these are good enough status bar quick settings notifications octavi theming volume panel navigation menu gestures power menu lock scheme visualizer weather gaming mode and miscellaneous all these customizations are kind of same and unexpectedly basically the gaming mode is still the same the old one right now the new gaming mode is there which is a very good adaptive gaming mode from exism ui a lot of custom rooms are having that but right now in this one you don't get that option but everything else is just kind of same and if you want to install this how you can install this this is the file which you need which is around 1.65 gb the link is in the description to download this file download and install after the, after downloading this make sure to keep it in your sd card or internal storage wherever you want to i need to format my data first first of all you need to decrypt data because i my device is encrypted i always format data if you want to stay decrypted you can try flashing disable the m verity here you can see this file so after booting into customer recovery directly just install this build this is my step maybe your steps might be different here simply install this build you need to click on swipe to install and after clicking on swipe to install you need to wait for some few seconds or the time which it will take and then you need to go to the wipe section click on 
Dalvi, Catch and Data. These three things you need to swipe to wipe. And after doing all these things, simply format data and you are good to go. Very simple things. Link in the description. Get by. See you in the next video. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.